Hi guys, welcome to Weekend Workshop. Today we are going to be using liquid acrylic inks to create our own textures and collage them to make interesting and fascinating artwork that you'll be able to hang on your wall, put on a greetings card or gift to a friend. So I'm so glad you can join me today. The aim of this workshop is that you'd have space to relax, to do some art making. I'll be guiding you through some techniques that you may want to add to. Use this as a starting place, a place where you can experiment and play and enjoy the process of making art. I would suggest that you turn your mobile off or remove yourself from any distractions so you can concentrate fully on what you're doing. I reckon it will take about an hour or so to do this session and I think at the end of it you should have something that you can be really proud of and also you can feel a little bit more peaceful as well. So I hope you really enjoy this session guys and if you have any questions or comments why not leave them below and I will get back to each and every one of them. So let's get cracking with this workshop and enjoy. Take your time. If you need to pause the video, do so. Make sure also to have a big cup of tea on hand and maybe put some music on in the background. So guys, for this project, you will need brushes, watercolor paper, white oil pastel, paper towels, washi tape, liquid acrylic, and don't forget, two jars of water. So first off, I'm just masking off the areas. If you use a washi tape, it won't stick so harshly to the paper and you should be able to peel it off quite easily. Now that you've chosen your three colors, just pop them onto a dish so that it'll be easy to mix with water as you go along. So our first technique I'll be showing you is the simple wash. So take your brush and dip it in one of your inks and you're then going to go straight onto the paper with the ink. Then go across to your water jar and pick up some water, a bit more ink, and as you go down, you're now going to gradually dilute the ink by adding more and more water until you have this really smooth gradient effect. You might find that you might need to add more ink at the top just to make it a bit darker, but you'll find that actually as it dries, it will look more and more effective. Our next technique is called wet in wet. If you can take the bigger brush, and dip it into your water, you're then going to wet the entire of the square. You're then going to take your smaller brush, dip it in the ink that you would like to use, and then just gently dab the paper with the ink so that it starts to spread out and create these lovely blobby patterns. You can also, if you like, just gently spread the paint around with your paintbrush just to move that ink around. You can also add another colour at this point as well, maybe one that is slightly darker. Don't be afraid to experiment here and just push the paint around. You'll see that actually it moves quite well. Our next technique is called feathering. Take some ink on your brush and go straight over to the, your box and just paint a line down one side. You're then gonna load your paintbrush with some water and basically just gently brush the edge of the painted line. And you'll start to see the ink begin to feather into where you painted that water line. You can now experiment a bit more now by adding a different colour, keep the same process with that. 
If you're feeling daring, add a third colour and repeat again. We're now going to do a technique where we combine wet and wet with something called lifting off, which is basically where we use a paper towel to lift off some of the excess ink. So just as the wet and wet technique, we wet the entire box with water and then get another brush and load it with more ink. We're going to do a little swirly pattern this time. Paper, um, just basically swirl the ink round and have fun doing that. Then get your paper towel and gently dab the paper and the ink and you'll gradually lift the ink off the paper but it will still leave enough of the ink left to make this really gentle, dreamy texture. This next technique is called resist and we are going to be using an oil pastel to give us the resist. So use the side of the oil pastel and gently rub it onto the box. Then pick up your paintbrush and load it with some more ink and then just gradually paint the ink over the oil pastel resist and you'll see that if you dilute the ink, the oil pastel shows through more. Once you've painted it all though, we're also going to be using a paper towel just to lift off some of the excess ink. You'll see that the texture of the oil pastel resist will come through. Our final technique that we will be using is a mixture of blowing and splatting the ink. As you'll see here, I'm just loading the brush up with some ink and then blowing the ink with a short, sharp breath. And you'll see that the ink splatters and spreads quite organically. I'm also then using um, another brush to splatter the ink onto the page. This gives a much more control in how you add texture. You can also tap your paintbrush as well to create more splatter effects and these blobs are slightly larger. As you can see here, I've combined a few different colours and I think it again makes it a lot more interesting as a texture. To speed up the process of drying, you can use a hairdryer to dry all your textures. You may also like to do another sheet so that you have a few, a few different textures you can choose from. I always like to have more than I need just so I have quite a bit of choice. And there you have it, that is the first part of this workshop done. So maybe grab yourself a cup of tea and have a break. Welcome back to part two guys. And this part we will be doing the collaging. So the supplies that you'll need for this part are a pair of scissors, glue stick, a pencil, white pen or white acrylic ink and a little brush, some blank card and a notebook and pen to jot down some ideas. So now that you've cut up all of your textures it's time to have a little think about what subjects you would like to base your collage on. I really love the sea and I felt that these textures lent themselves to that subject. So what I'm doing here is just brainstorming a few different ideas that I think would work well. If you are stuck for ideas, I've just made a little list in the description box below. So I'm going to be working on a A6 greetings card size 
So the next step is for you to choose which textures you would like to use for each icon. And once you've decided on that, take a pencil and start drawing your icons onto the textures. This will serve as a guideline for when you come to cut them out. But you may actually just want to cut them out straight away. That's totally up to you. So now that you've got all of your icons drawn, it's time to start cutting them out. As you cut them out, place them onto your card and you can gradually start to see the design coming together. At this point, start having a little play around with how your icons sit on the card. You'll find that the more you move them around, the more interesting your collage will become. And don't be afraid to test out different colours until you're happy with the final um, layout. So once you're happy with the final layout, it's, it's now time to start sticking them in place. Now they're all stuck on, we're now going to go back in to the design with our white acrylic ink or if you have a white pen that works, please use that. Um, and we're going to basically just put in a few more lines and details just to really make our textures and icons pop. And there you have it, you're finished. Hopefully you should have a piece of artwork that you're really pleased with and you can either give it to a friend or use it as a thank you card or you could even frame it and pop it on your wall. Now that you know how to do these techniques, you can easily make up another card or another design and you could probably soon start a little collection. I hope you've really enjoyed this workshop guys and again if you have any thoughts or suggestions for future workshops just drop them below but I will see you again soon for another weekend workshop. If you have taken part in this workshop I would love to see what you've created. Just tag your work weekend workshop with Mel on Instagram. I'll include you in our gallery for next weekend workshop. Until then guys keep creating, keep having fun and I'll see you again soon. Bye.